What's up guys, it's Tommy here and welcome to a very interesting Liverpool transfer news video because it looks like that Liverpool have contacted the representatives of Paulo Dybala and also Juventus to inquire whether Juventus want to sell Paulo Dybala to Liverpool and the main reason for this is and these rumors are picking up pace that it looks like that Juventus will assign Cristiano Ronaldo can you believe that at first I said no way that this is happening but now more and more people including the Marzio one of the main agents uh, reporting on this it looks like that this transfer rumor has legs Ronaldo could actually leave Real Madrid he is reportedly fed up with the, the dealings of Real Madrid and Florentino Perez and he has had enough he wants to leave Real Madrid and it looks like that Juventus are trying everything in their power to get ready to be able to afford financially Cristiano Ronaldo who will cost 88 million pounds in transfer fee plus 30 million pounds in wages per year and that means that Ronaldo will earn more than the top five earners in Juventus football club right now in combined which means that they have to sell more potentially more than one player and that could be Higuain or Dybala and this is where the transfer rumors are coming from, from that uh, Tutto Mercato Web and the Daily Mirror have been reporting that Liverpool are hoping that Juventus have to generate some money so they basically will have to sell Dybala to g generate some funds for Ronaldo and uh, some say that why would Juventus sell one of their best uh, like young talents basically just to afford Ronaldo Juventus I think did uh, all the calculations and they would get huge huge amounts of money in terms of sponsorship deals in terms of uh, merchandise uh, the, the sale of Ronaldo shirts plus you know they would 100% guaranteed win the Serie A title for the next two or three years so this is absolutely crazy monumental news and uh, Juventus signing Ronaldo would send shockwaves around world football and I think there would be major changes in the Juventus squad because of this one transfer because they have to generate some serious amount of money Juventus are a very rich club but they are not on the level of Barcelona or Manchester City or, or Paris Saint-Germain they can't afford like this Ronaldo like the, those other clubs they have to generate money through player sales the Daily Mirror is saying that Liverpool have contracted Gustavo Mascardi Dybala's former agent who oversaw his move from Argentina to Italy to his first club Palermo where he started to rise in European football and also a very interesting Portuguese newspaper says that Fiat will sign a sponsorship deal with Ronaldo to help top up his wages to the 30 million euros per year he wants which Juventus can't afford to pay entirely themselves due to financial fair play the Angeli family uh, who owns Juventus also own Fiat that sounds really really dodgy to be honest but you know there has to be some financial workaround for Juventus also Dybala who is 24 years old he scored 26 goals in 46 appearances this season and he's very young as I said he's 24 he's uh, 177 centimeters so and he is uh, maybe a more skillful version of Roberto Firmino I'm not saying that Roberto Firmino is not skillful but Dybala has uh, more agility and he has more skills but he's not as uh, like strong physical as Firmino but but imagine the front line with Dybala Liverpool could actually play a 4-4-2 version of a formation with Firmino and Dybala up front Mane and Salah on the wings or they could play a 4-2-2-2 formation with Keita and Fabinho or Keita and Henderson in midfield Mane and Salah ahead of them and Firmino and Dybala up front just thinking about that uh, attack is really really excites me of course these transfer rumors I'm not sure how much truth there is to them but if Ronaldo indeed ends up at Juventus I think Liverpool 
it's worth a shot to inquire about Paulo Dybala and that's exactly what Liverpool are doing. I'm not saying that Liverpool will definitely t do... I'm not saying that Liverpool will definitely sign Dybala but I'm saying that they are inquiring about Dybala and when a player of Dybala's calibre comes on the market Liverpool should be in the in the process. Liverpool should be in the conversation and in previous seasons I dismissed this transfer report as like like bullshit that it will never happen. Liverpool will never pay the amount of money required to get Dybala to Liverpool but then we made some monumentally big transfers. We have the highest transfer for a defender in Van Dijk. We paid 75 million pounds for Van Dijk. We paid about 50 million pounds for Nabi Keita. And uh, these are the transfer fees that Liverpool are now willing to pay. So I think under Jurgen Klopp, Liverpool are willing to do big, big transfers. And this Dybala deal would certainly be in the 100 million pound transfer bracket in my opinion maybe 70 to 80 million pounds would be more realistic but even at that price i think it would be worth it because dibala is only 24 as i said he will have a resale value almost as high as his transfer value so if we sign dibala for 80 million and like four years from now dibala wants to leave we could get a similar amount of transfer fee for him and uh, and I think it's worth it because Dybala would certainly elevate Liverpool to a whole new level and also he would attract other big players because if other teams other players say see that Liverpool can attract the likes of Dybala then I think we could attract almost anybody and and uh, I think Liverpool's style of play would suit Dybala very much because he likes to be very direct, he likes to attack the fullbacks on the wing and he also likes to score goals, he's a very very good finisher, evident by his numbers. I mean if you take a look, he's only 24 years old and he already scored more than 100 career goals. He scored 68 goals for Juventus in just 3 seasons. He scored around 20 goals a season, every season that he has been at Juventus and the Serie A is notoriously difficult to have high goal scoring numbers in that league because the defenders are so so good in the Serie A but Dybala scored 23 goals for Juventus in his first season, he scored 19 goals in his second season and the third season was his best. 26 goals and something like 8 assists in 46 games. I think that's a very very good number considering that Dybala hasn't played as an out and out striker at Juventus. He hasn't been, you know, their number 9. That has been Higuain to score 26 goals playing sometimes on the wing, sometimes as a second striker to Higuain. I think those are really, really good, really impressive numbers. So Dybala has shown himself to be at best at uh, the support striker role. Uh, that's where he usually played in this Juventus team. So that could be implemented into the Liverpool side with Roberto Firmino up front, Dybala as a second striker, maybe a little bit behind him and uh, behind Firmino I mean and Salah and Mane on either wing I think that would be a really really awesome strike first because as I said Liverpool now have the midfielders to be able to withstand any counter-attacks uh, because with Nabi Keita and Fabinho we would have the legs to cover for the front players so we could just say to the front four players just attack um, when we have the ball and don't really bother getting back into defense if we lose the ball on the counter-attack because we would have Keita and Fabinho or sometimes just uh, Fabinho or just Henderson sitting in front of the back four and Keita could bump, bump forward and supply balls to Dybala, Firmino, Salah or Mane just thinking about this attack really really makes me so so excited i know at the moment it's not a very like very likely that this transfer will happen but i think it was worth talking about and dibala started off his career in argentina he was born in 1993 as i already said and he started off his career at instituto de corboda De Cordoba, he made his professional debut there in the Argentinian second division. He signed very early in his career when he was just 
to 17, 18 years old, he signed for Palermo in the Serie A and Liverpool contacted his agent, which uh, the agent who brought Dybala from Argentina to the Serie A and uh, he had three good seasons at Palermo, his third season was the breakthrough season I, have, I think that's where many people, including myself, took notice of Paulo Dybala he scored 13 goals in 35 games for Palermo Juventus, he was just incredible and I can't understand why on earth did Argentina manager Sampaoli only played Dybala for 22 minutes at the World Cup. Dybala was actually one of the players that I was most excited about to watch in the World Cup because I honestly think that he's one of the most talented young players. He is like the next Aguero in, a, in he's similar in playing style and he has already incredible numbers. I mean scoring almost 70 goals in 140 games for Juventus in the Serie A as a 22, 23, 24 year old player to score one goal every two games for such a big club like Juventus that means that Dybala can handle pressure, he can handle playing for a really really top club so I'm really really looking forward to what these uh, next few days will bring because I think the Ronaldo transfer is rumored that it will be unveiled tomorrow and Ronaldo will get the number 7 shirt at Juventus of course because this he has this brand of CR7 and uh, tomorrow is actually the seventh month of the year and the seventh day of the seventh month of the year July so Ronaldo could be unveiled on 07.07 .07, the date in the number seven shirt in Juventus and I think this would be huge I'm also really hoping that this goes through because this would mean that Real Madrid probably won't win the Champions League next year and it, it already is kind of boring to see Real Madrid winning the Champions League three years in a row so next year hopefully Liverpool will have another shot at winning the Champions League but if Liverpool can somehow get a financial package ready for Paulo Dybala and in my opinion Liverpool will be in consideration because Liverpool now are back among the top European clubs of course Dybala would want to go to a top European club. He said he wouldn't want to go to Real Madrid before, so that rules them out. Barcelona don't really need him, Paris Saint-Germain don't really need him. I don't think the top English clubs, maybe Chelsea are looking for a striker, but at the moment if you have to choose between Chelsea and Liverpool, you would certainly choose for Liverpool. Man City don't look for a striker, they already have Aguero and Gabriel Jesus. Man United certainly are not looking for a striker. I'm just listing clubs who could potentially afford Paulo Dybala and Liverpool can certainly afford Paulo Dybala because we still have the Coutinho money in the bank that's more than a hundred million pounds ready to be spent on a big player and I think Jurgen Klopp will only sign big players for big money if he thinks that they would improve Liverpool and oh boy would Dybala improve Liverpool so much so I'm really hoping that there is a, some truth to this uh, transfer rumor. Dybala already won the Serie A three times. He won the Serie B in with Palermo, the Italian second division. He won three Italian Cups as well and the Italian Super Cup. In 2014-15 he got actually the most assists in the Serie A which is also something that you should consider and I wanted to tell you guys what Jurgen Klopp said about transfer dealings at Liverpool. So he said, yes, I am happy. The work on the new signings is always going on. That's how it is. Why should we stop until the window is closing? It's all good in the moment. We will see what happens and I will not. And I don't want to say it looks a little better in that department or this department. If all the players are coming back and healthy from the World Cup then we have already a very really really good team and that's the only thing that I need to know. But, ha but what happens on the other side we will see but we don't finish talking about it before the last day of the window. Which means that Jurgen Klopp and Liverpool will continually work on bringing in the best possible players into Liverpool until the last day of the transfer window, until the transfer window is finished, Liverpool will try to bring in new players and that really really excites me, that really makes me 
hopeful that Liverpool have one or two big players still coming in because I still think that we need one or two big players, somebody like Nabil Fekir or Paulo Dybala uh, or maybe a new centre-back like Toby Alderweireld coming in to, to elevate Liverpool just let that little bit higher, just let that little bit closer to Manchester City and I honestly think that if we sign somebody like Paulo Dybala we could score the same amount of insane uh, number of goals that Manchester City scored uh, last season. But let me know what do you think about these transfer news in the comments below. And thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. See you later, guys. Good night.